get some dredging in both areas. In our main harbor, really need some dredging along with uh, uh, the Roosevelt Beach area. Um, we'd like to get some Greenway money naturally to take and have, and I've spoken with the present supervisor Myers in, uh, in um, Barker, uh, Somerset, mm -hmm. along with Tim Hornberg, mm -hmm. to see if we can't get some money. And I've spoken with Mert, Mert Weeper, too, supervisor in Porter, so we can have that bike path come all the way from Somerset, connect into Youngstown, mm -hmm. and work its way right on up to the upper river. And that would be a beautiful, beautiful thing. Yeah. You know, I worked with our business businesses to work with a settlement woman, um, Delmani, to have the line trail come through our village, which it does now. And that's helped in a couple of businesses with promoting wine tours and you know the Wilson House. He's able to work with the limousine service now to put together wine wine tours and have them stay yeah. at their hotel and that kind of stuff. Which he wasn't able to do before, and, yeah. and you know, that, that's been a plus for us. Um, there was one other thing that um, bring up. You know, actually, I've talked about the business association. Oh, I know. I've I've also applied for grant money through Senator Maziarz's office to get a comprehensive master plan together, uh, along with the mayor of the village. We. Um, our, our comprehensive plan was back to 1966. And with that, you know, if you've seen that, Tim, oh my God. You know, it's it's so extremely outdated that it's, it's unbelievable. Um, what does it say? We hear a lot about these comprehensive plans with different towns and villages and the city and stuff like that. I guess if you could just background, what does it take just someone sitting down and with the board and you, what you, what, what, here's what we want to look like in 2000, whatever, or, you know? You know what, what, to do is to really put together a good master plan. You, you know, you have your planning board and zoning board involved, but you get an engineering firm involved uh -huh. who, who, you know, they're very up on what needs to be done. You have your, your zoning board, your planning right. board. I'd like to get the school system on uh, board, so you know, have their input. You have to get the um, business association aboard. Right. You know, where they would like to see. Expand the business district, you know, commercial land and that kind right. of stuff. I mean, right now, there's no growth. There, there can be no growth. Yeah. And how do you grow? I mean, you know, uh, Cambridge is growing. Mm -hmm. uh, we feel it's growing. Yeah, it's going yeah, right. to come down the hill. Mm -hmm. You got to be ready for it. You know, yeah. Tim Hornberg and I have talked. You know, you know, getting some grant money for a shared service to get an engineering firm to say, okay. What do we do with infrastructure in regards to sewers? Right. So that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Are you seeing yeah. some residential growth or not quite oh, yet? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, it, you know, and it's coming, and, and they're not hundred thousand dollar homes. They're three hundred thousand dollar homes. People come out of our, you know, come out there and they're, they're building some beautiful homes. Is that part of the reason for the move to the assessment process, or is it just all? I mean. Are you feeling that assessments across the board are going to go up with more residents and nicer houses? And, you know, I mean, you know that they have. You know, like similar to the Pendleton scene and Wheatfield scene, and you know, yes, and that's what's higher happening. Towns, you know. That's what's happening. Everybody's putting the higher end homes, and it's just yeah. it's incredible. Yeah. And our our waterfront uh, property is mm -hmm. it's shooting up. Sure. You know, I know, uh, you know, it's selling for a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars more than people bought two years ago. Yeah, and bought two years ago, two forty. So 340 wow. in two years. Wow, that's amazing. You know, because when people come from other areas, you know, it's oh, yeah. cheap, cheap along the water there. And with the Canadian dollar changing, mm -hmm. that's going to change an awful lot. That's true too, right? Um, um, you know, so you know, if we can put them them type of things together, mm -hmm. you know, you know, I'd be happy with it. You know, and I know there's an awful lot of talk about the four-year term. One of our council sure. councilmen. Uh, um, put in a resolution because of a four-year term. And, you know, I'm, I'm for it because, you know, I'm living what, what two years is all about. In two years, you know, I've spent the full two years putting out fires. You know, I haven't been able to even work on, uh, you know, what I would like to see done. And even if I wasn't putting out fires in two years, on a part-time job, if you're coming in there and really running the town like it has to be run, it doesn't leave you a lot of time to work on your agenda, to put together grant monies and right. meet with developers and 
you know, we have two trailer parks that want to expand. We have a guy come in and wants to bring in $240 million to our area in regards to a golf course and um, condominiums, mm -hmm. patio type homes. You know, so we have to work. Um, I'm in contact with a bioenergy plant and I'm meeting and, and talking with them. I've met with them three times and been on the phone with them a number of different times to try and bring this bioenergy plant, if not just in the Wilson, in the Niagara County. Right, right. Because if they come into Niagara County, it's going to help all our farmers. It could help. Oh, this is know, the one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it could, help our, it could help our business with um, Pfeiffer. Right, because right. Because they have, a, you know, they have a sewage waste problem there. If they can get their costs down there. Is Pfeiffer all right? Yeah, you're a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> maybe somebody could put this to bed. You know, they, they tell us they are because I, I yeah. got the IDA together and we met with them and a team of people from New York State mm -hmm. to say, hey, look at this, this is the resources that are here available for right. it. You know, there's there's grant money out there, there's cheap power out there. Um, they work with a, uh, another salad dressing firm in the Dunkirk area mm -hmm. to help them get low cost funding to fix up their sewage plant and mm -hmm. fix up their lines and that type of stuff and their infrastructure. Right. And you know, they've turned that company around. Right. And you know, they can market. We tell them, look at we there's money out there to help them market across the border in the Hamilton, Toronto. Toronto's a two hour hour and a half truck away. Right, right. It's a millions of people. Sure. Why would you not want to go market over there? Because they talk about their trucking costs and that's why they move some of their right. their um, Processes down to Ohio, and they've opened up a company in Kentucky. So, that are the things that that scare you. Yeah, consolidation. Well, people they employ, you know. And right around 120. Okay. Okay. But right. you know, next to the school system, they're ne our next yeah. place. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. And you know, we have a lot of local families. There are two people that work. You know, in there. And yeah. 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 So if they close up, it would be it would be devastating. Right. Right. Area. Okay. So I really do try to pay attention to. Them. I heard the same stuff I've heard about just, yep. you know, Still have shifts being uh, going down the one shift four to days, yeah, yeah. Going down the four day shifts. Yeah, right, right, right. Stuff. right. Yeah. You know, it, you know, when it is going on, they've moved out a couple different lanes, but the lines they've moved out have been commercial lanes that haven't been store lanes. You know, right. But, okay. uh, the Marzetti group, you know, they're you know, looking to make money and consolidate. And, mm -hmm. I sure hate this. They tell us they're not going to close this. <laughs> Sure, you never know. You never know. I'm just thinking one day it's going to be the unfortunate news. But, you know, and they've been around a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I've heard. Um, anything similar to that? Any, any of those you know, type of industries or small businesses that you're kind of communication with that you're trying to market Wilson and say, you know, is this the place where you want to come? Any conversations? Is your phone always ringing? Or, uh, you know, no, it's, it, it's, it really, it, it's really not. Yeah. You know, the, 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 the two, two that I've really talked with is the developer. Right. Um, Bio with the bio yeah. plant and the other one with the golf course and the condominiums, you know. Okay. And we're, we're doing our best to see what we can do. Sure. And again, you know, I talked to this gentleman with the bio plant. That will help us a tremendous amount right. with the farmers in regards to, to um, the liquid manure. Mm -hmm. You've ever experienced it? Have you ever experienced it? I don't believe so. No. <laughs> I would probably is, remember that. It's a horrible, horrible smell. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I mean, like, you you know, if I get any complaints at all, it's that. Yeah. You know, we have this a big, you know, yeah, I mean, we, have, we have a big, there's a big farm in there, Dale's farm. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. <laughs> they are, you know, and they, they have the right farm. Sure. I do believe they try to do the right thing, but it is what it is. Yeah. You can't get away from that smell. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they built another lagoon in the town of Porter, and he's creating, you know, he's collecting a lot of heat in the town of Porter. Yeah. For allowing them to do it, but they have the right to fire. It's been a controversy forever. So. You know, and, yeah. and that, that is the future. The future is these factory mm -hmm. milk farms. Right. I mean, they're growing yeah. all over. If you go down to Cattle Rogers and Livingston County, yeah. just drive down to the area. I think one of those. I guess. It makes Wilson smell good. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>